What up, guys? We're back for this week's uh, narrative. Before we tell you what it is, Noah, you know what time it is, man. Hit that intro. <laughs> This week's narrative, putting stock in Roto Roto World headlines. And look, I'm sure you've fallen trapped with this. I know I have where I've read a Roto World headline without clicking the article, and I've retweeted it right away with my knee-jerk reaction. No longer will I be doing that because they have been just putting out some fucking ridiculous shit over the past month or so. In fact, so much that I've dedicated a new burner account of mine and it's called roto bait exposed and i'm basically going to expose all of their fraudulent tweets from here on forth to help you guys avoid those landmines um just to give you a taste of what what that looks like um i think recently i'm trying to pull it up right here but recently they put up a tweet about uh russell westbrook i mean those of you who follow there's a thing going around called let russ cook i think it was started by ben russell wilson and- not westbrook Sorry, yeah, Russell Wilson. Uh, let How Russ dare cook. You. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, Roto World. Oh my God, they deleted the tweet. That's hilarious. Did they? Uh, yeah, they fucking deleted the tweet. <laughs> you made but, them delete it. But basically, they had a tweet that said, uh, "Seahawks Pete Carroll says they're going to pound the rock." And when when you click into the tweet uh, and you click into the article itself, what it says is Seahawks coach Pete Carroll joked we're just going to hammer the rock in reference to let Russ cook. And later on in that same, same article, which is from Roto world, it says Carol's comments were made in jest. So uh, they've deleted the tweet now. So luckily I, I kind of started this account and they've deleted a couple of tweets that I've, that I've put out. So I'm going to start taking screenshots <laughs> instead of retweeting yeah. just to make sure I can. Well, yeah. Time. What you need to do is immediately, like as soon as you retweet it, also do the screenshot right underneath like the quote tweet that you did. So yeah. that will never, ever go away. Yeah, you know, yeah. the Roto World, I, I mean, they're just like all of us out here, man. They're just trying to fill up all the nuts that they didn't get to bust over COVID. They didn't get any <laughs> clickbait action. So now they're looking for the headlines and now they need to make all of it come out. And they're just throwing out the most wild, egregious things that you're seeing on the internet right now. And uh, yeah, like I'll, I'll retweet all the shit that is in favor of all the players I like. And I'll be like, this is fucking clickbait if it's a player that I, that I don't like. But the key <laughs> of the story here is like, Twitter is just wildly fucking ridiculous with this stuff. You need to read things between the lines. And I, yep. with the Russell Wilson thing, I saw someone tweet out the context before I actually saw the clickbait title. They were like, oh, yeah, they, someone was joking around with uh, Pete Carroll about the, like, uh, let Russ cook thing. And he jokingly said, like, nah, we're just going to pound the rock and pound the rock. So I was like, oh, it's kind of funny. And then you see the clickbait title. I'm like, yo, Roto World's really, like, irresponsibly <laughs> out here telling people that that's how this shit should be taken. So be very careful when you see headlines. Be very careful when you see clips of people at practice with running backs who are throwing guys down who aren't actually even allowed to fucking tackle them in the first <laughs> place. Like, this shit just gets me real riled up. Yeah, you got oh, the AJ Dillon one. AJ Dillon's looking real good, yet he's on the sideline, like not wearing pads <laughs> at all or doing anything. It's like he's got big legs, but he's not using them at all. Like, did we yeah. not know he had big legs? Like, did we did we not fucking know that already? <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I, they drafted him in the second round, just because yeah. he had big legs. That that's the key to it is like not to double count information. And what happens when people start retweeting Roto World blurbs or retweeting like you know all the stuff is is like people start like double counting stuff. It's like, dude, we know AJ Dillon's athletic. We knew he was a size freak. Like he blew up the combine. That's already happened. So seeing that picture, there's been zero information that's been reviewed. Like I would be shocked if he had skinny legs. Like I expected them to have to have like massive fucking quads and just. Be I, a total, I honestly, total yeah, God. I think they got smaller since the combine happened. <laughs> like he's actually shrunk a little bit since that. People just yeah. didn't know. So make sure you don't double count, man. Just just read between the lines. And again, like like follow follow my account if you if you're too lazy to read the article, just follow the account because every time I will screenshot the picture and literally put a fucking red circle around shit to show you what to look at so you don't get <laughs> fooled by these clickbait titles because honestly it's it's getting fucking out of hand and if Roto World starts sparting up, maybe I'll maybe I'll broadcast it out, you know, maybe I'll broaden out to like PFF, you know. Uh, that, you know, I'll, I'll kind of like start broadening out to all these clickbait titles. Just help you guys avoid the fucking landmines that are out there because they are plentiful. They are everywhere. And you just, you just got to fade them and not get misinformed and make actual decisions based on them. Yeah, Mike, I think the best one, honestly, is the Dante Pettis one where you circle the dates. <laughs> June 17th, 2019, Dante Pettis turned heads at 40 in his minicamp. minicamp. September 3rd, 2019, Dante Pettis listed as the number one wide out. 
five days later, September 8th, Dante Pettis played two snaps in the 49ers <laughs> victory. Yeah, and if, yeah. you, if, you, if you actually click into the one where it says, like, Dante Pettis is listed as the 49ers' uh, first wideout, what it says in the actual thing is in the unofficial depth chart. And if you know about unofficial depth charts, you know it's done by coffee boys, and they are absolutely yeah. fucking meaningless, and you cannot put stock into them. So the fact that Roller World tweeted that he's the number one wide receiver based on a coffee boy depth chart just tells you, man, they are thirsty. Thirsty so for clicks. It'll literally be like a coach was asked, like, who's going to be the second string? Right, Like, okay, Mark Ingram's getting the carries. Who's going to be the second string running back? Like, could be J.K. Dobbins. Could be Gus Edwards. <laughs> could, be, could be fucking uh, Miles Boykin. And then, like, their title will be like, J.K. Dobbins pushing for second string, almost pushing Mark Ingram, 32 fucking question marks. Like, right. Outside source, Nick Urkelano says Justice Hill is pretty good. <laughs> RB2. Gang, gang. <laughs> yeah all right stay safe out there it's fucking clickbait season we do it too sometimes for fun but when it comes to big fucking facts we do not go for clicks when we give you a bold take it's because we fucking believe in it we do not go for clicks because we want you to win because if you win you're going to keep coming back to the fucking well of gold and that is the bdge faithful so hope you guys enjoyed the narrative follow nick follow noah follow me Follow my new Roto Bates uh, account to help stay informed, and uh, we'll see you uh, in a couple a uh, couple of more videos. Yeah, big big fantasy, greater less than sign, big pharma. <laughs>